no. Unlucky, so... This looks like holder's list. Uh, so one second. It's awkward because you miss the mulligans, but it's easier to follow when you know who is where. So we have Lerio on blue coin on top side against Holder on the bottom side. And, uh, okay, Lerio found a couple of proactive uh, ships, uh, but he is running the long ship, so this is not a Blavik inversion that we've seen during the open. And by the looks of it, we are all set now, so let's go enjoy some competitive Gwent. What does Raging Fleet pull? This is the last ship, the the long ship uh, holder started uh, uninteractively, but it can only go for so long. This Dwarven Skirmisher is uh, in trouble. You have Gorilla Tactics if you really wish to, to move start up, stuff around. We do see the Chariot. Uh, trying to prevent but sadly order is only you cannot add armor in hand and also there are two long ships so it's not gonna help you anyway so the skirmisher for example is dying at the moment you also cannot play shiru reliably against the long ships so we might see Compass into Fuku later on, trying to offset Shiro, but that's the mind game uh, part. Having that flexibility is always nice. Anyway, if you are just joining, this is the first match of the day. We'll have another one later on, after this concludes basically. And at stake is progression to the semi-final of Gwent World Cup. Uh, the team's uh, the info is below me. You basically need to win two matches to go to the semi-finals where teams China and UK already await. Uh, Wait, this is still... No. It's just that Lerio is on blue coin, but actually it states, shows the red one. Uh, uh, so it's flipped as well. Sorry, the tournament platform into the first game of the day is quite often disappointing. We do see that Skirmisher uh, makes a cameo, but uh, dies immediately. Unfortunate, at least he is done the damage. So, Dario clicks uh, has this squirrel, but that squirrel can meet an aeromancy. Now, you are kind of allowing your opponent to play on hero if necessary. So, this is a, definitely a ship round from Lerio. Uh, double long, demon light, light long ship and great long ships are always uh, stacked, but he's uh, yeah, running double demon smuggler, so that makes cards more awkward if your terror of the seas gets eliminated. It also is not stacking much armor, and looting it is usually risky. Against locks, we don't see locks, so heat wave is here. Nothing much for holder here to use the squirrel on. He also will be playing into the double long ship, and your leader charges are completely wasted. Well, they 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 have. But ability to give you the reach, but uh, other than that, do we see a pass from Lerio? This board setup is nice, but can you allow Guerrilla Tactics to have uh, 
delete here to have uh, the control of the round I'm afraid uh, it might backfire especially since you are playing compass and if Plerio finds and he already has the seamless if he has uh, access to Cranmer you will be forced to play most of your hand and later also kind of has the cards that he wouldn't want to play abortage is that you probably don't want to throw away the the bjord compass and so unplayable here oh playable but you don't want to do that and we see a pass so 18 points to break even double red ship uh, makes you to play minus three uh, minus two every turn let's see how holder does it White sands to snows. and he should be doing it quite uh, reliably here he has masha travel and going two down um the bleed might be harder to achieve the, than you'd expect so we do see maxi playing for four points here showing that backup plans are nicely at the bottom but you are drawing into the workshops uh, through your mulligans you also miss heat wave cranmer Anyway, since the, the dog already is on the board, it was safe. Uh, otherwise, those three points might have been clutch from the Knickers, but... Uh, didn't have to take the risk. Okay, первый round за Сифом. Ушел в минус две, так что ожидается пас. Хотелось бы выставить э, артефакты. Но иногда симлеса с броней кидают. So there was a shuffle from Maxi. We do see Maha Compass coming into hand. And also no armors, uh, armorers workshops. Oneiromancy gives access to important cards. Uh, you're angrily misplaying character all the which is uh, quite nice and yeah the pass is here so the line taken to catch up with Masha Truffle it worked out so Lerio needs thinning for compass he has last wish that thins one extra card can he throw the moon pirate and we have a prediction guys usually predictions are allowed but uh, last time i think we've seen we've seen six, six bets on lerio and zero on equis so that was not very efficient or was it maimon versus Le uh, Nequis anyway so our dash goes into the graveyard to the moon pirate more thinning is being done uh, okay there are some bats they are very tame but uh, at least there is something coming into them. Oh, 10k. Okay, it's it's getting more serious. Ставочки можно делать прямо сейчас. Баллы канала есть не у всех, но у кого есть можете заливать. Uh, so so beast. There is a squirrel and another half row. You want to play cards so that you draw cards and not get extra mulligans. Card roll that is being set up and yeah, there is at seven cards. So job's done. Ten card round uh, three. There is a card roll to carry over. There is some armor carry over on the pirates uh, for. 
hold here. He couldn't stick uh, Mahakam Pants because he would be risking losing a card. Northern Wind is not the most exciting. Those holder odds at the moment amazing. Maybe somebody throws their money on uh, holder though. Like a couple of thousands and then it's uh, the balance is thrown off. So little half and squirrel for the soul. Uh, this is Onslaught Leader and Lerio is playing you can see. This is Guerrilla Tactics and I don't think player used any of the, their leader charges yet. So Simulus will be playing double Armorer's Workshop. And you have to choose between Heatwave and Golem. There is no Krach for you to answer. Uh, Tear is a card that usually gets answered, but we'd have to see. So there goes an 18 point Moon Pirate. Those two help Tinin, as does uh, Upper Dash. If you set up the Bloodthirst too, as does the Last Wish. Not often you see this card in, in action, so you just look at two cards, play one, banish the other. So you can also, yeah, just Shiro if you don't want to. But this deck is not known for getting the best out of tier outside of Magic Compass into the Fuku and at the moment the uh, magic compass is inactive and there are no more uh, uh, reses. Although we've seen the insane synergy with uh, the seagulls, no seagulls in this list. So that was a verification card troll there. He's at times annoying at uh, denying you the board presence. This is also a 6 that can be evaporated with Shiro and one leader charge. And yeah, I'm, I mentioned the lines of like uh, raising the red ship and Shiro being pink by it, but. Uh, there is full guerrilla tactics leader for holder so he can mostly avoid it you want to pass you gotta pay can't let you through elsewhere okay one big boy at 18 is landing now the second one goes into the tier power range and yeah you definitely will want to avoid uh, getting shirut for 18 plus points okay so the bets are done it's 1 to 10 to fully lerio stavochki zakonchilis stavochki Выплачивают очень хорошо, если вы поставили на команду Украины. Does Soft have target? Yeah, two of them. So it, it wasn't risky yet to play the Demon Pirate. Now playing the Last Wish? You cannot do that. Because you can see both beasts and then you are in trouble. So, a Neuromancy for uh, a Kyr troll the, of their own. You hold to Mahak, uh, you, you pass on Mahakam Pass for now, but you do go for Kyr troll the. So, let's see the rolls. Don't want the random pinks. Uncreate Raider, on the other hand, might allow to bring uh, here into the Shiro range. Вы сам на кого поставил? Ну, в серии там очень интересные колоды у Тифа. Как мы видим здесь, головореза бандита и в 
всех э, колодах у него северный ветер. Не знаю, у Лерио лайнап чуть-чуть понадежнее выглядит. Ну, посмотрим. And we do see terror of the seas. So, question now. Ah, wait. Yeah, Sif doesn't know that there is no demon smuggler. Otherwise, he would have potentially tried to snipe it with backup plan. Or do we set up the board for the car troll the clash? We're gonna need a backup board. No. Giant Slayer literally picking up the giant to fight. And it's a nice find. The round is ongoing. You are not interacting with the pirate anymore since you heat waved already. Uh wait. Yeah, since you missed the heat wave, is the more precise phrasing there. So you're not resetting that and bringing it down is is a slow process, uh, but yeah, Ca cards are in the zero range for certain. So let's see how this progresses. Soap is gaining immunity, nothing can be done about that. But uh, Soap is also capitalized on immediately to avoid the leader Ch Shiro Mahakam Pass leader charge burning 11, leaving you with no soap. Так что да, там 11 на столе вешать опасно, потому что 3 плюс 5 плюс 3 дает 11, и получается казус плюс, ну, нет причин не спрятать поинты. Есть жара. So, extra armor is most welcomed here. Now we should be looking at the lines from Compass, potential lines. Uh, one of them always being can be. So if you are holding to for too long, uh, bad things might happen. Uh, the soap also opened up the last wish, but last wish is... Uh... Eh, it's actually not that bad. On to the demon. And yeah, this is, this is the beauty of this card. It's disgusting. This play can be no a trip for Quint or some Poka Gromni. Uh Aldero Nilza CD the Kansa the Swih Pratana point of Slakatsi. So the archer doesn't have a viable target here. Rehead Brigade is a card that you can risk uh, with your leader, but you might, yeah, just pull short on uh, the Shiro setup. So instead we have a five point Archer, but at the same time, this is a double six on the board already. The Cutthroat is also not looking too hot at the moment, uh, since it's a singular one, it has uh, only ability to destroy twos. You can try to set up <laughs> Kyra Trolley, but you are most likely losing points. Eh, no. Okay. Something can be potentially done in the end of, by the end of the round. But that's not the most exciting finisher to use anyway. Neither is this squirrel. 
uh, quite uh, two quite bad cards. Instead, Lerio has the Moon Smuggler with the ship on board still. We tell not the soil, we sow not the seeds. We do get a 10 for 5. Getting up another armor on uh, Bjorn and the Moon Pirate. So this Demon Pirate should be relatively safe from getting to 6 power as well. There is nothing good for Shiro at 8, 11. 14 is uh, doable. Oh, I love my Value. Uh, 5 points, 4 points. Later on now, after seeing the tier brought down to 6, should be on a safer side of playing the Demon Pirate. Give us all you got! So since the coin is uh, all sorts of uh, messed up from uh, the platform lag, uh, Lirio doesn't have a last say. We've seen Holder win round one couple of cards down, so that can be will, will be risky, be, uh, risky because you cannot deny the value from artifacts from leader. Uh, you'd better hunt for. Something juicy we've seen, a humongous uh, him from uh, Gwent Open. There is, of course, uh, Morkwark dealing with that armor, for example, on Giant Slayer. Then your Kranmer is uh, worse off. Was it Compass at least that was deleted? It was. So, no round for carry over for Lerio. Ну что, кто уже посчитал все возможные варианты с Шеру? Хотя таковы, таковыми они там особо. Не являются шестерки, являются вариантом по шеру девятка немного проблематично, без э, подбафов. Всего одна тренажка. So, no armor on the mid card means that uh, this Dennis Cranmer is struggling to find two armored adjacent units already. Also, Bjorn is not left at the... Uh, six power so that it's not uh, burning from shiro but ah okay that's beautiful yeah i forgot i we don't see the leader abilities and i already forgot so we see the clash setting up a six and triple six is a burning and uh, this is also activated uh, Morkwart takes 12 points away from this Giant Slayer. Tyr is usually a better Morkwart, but at times that's not the case. Is there anything else that wins? I'll let uh, Lerio to decide. Definitely not can be as it's not active. Uh... So yeah, the Heart of Terror. Not only denies the buffs from Giant Slayer, but also denies those additional points. And that was only one leader charge left. And we see Lerio winning game number one. That for once more. So nice. Uh, now, Team Ukraine on blue, Team Poland on red. And this was more or less classic assimilate list has all the cards plus Lydia that was running it uh, 
that was moved to what five power eight provisions uh, anything cool you can steal from this list i don't know i i witnessed the affiliate merchant here uh this is a shoe list there is angulim this angulim is um Plane, mostly for Lirio, right? There are no artifacts and enslave you uh, kind of short. <laughs> so if Lirio gets an Angulim, it would be a card troll there. Hey, Yola Fale, nice to see ya. And nice to see you all here. Welcome to the tiebreaker phase of the Gwent World Cup. Верите в лип и зверей, они могут... Смотреть интересно, я ничего против не имею. Просто интересно было, что в команде два самоурончика, и вдруг Цинтра ты со своими зверями. Nice to see you join the World Cup. Yeah, we do. This is the first match of the day. There will be another one straight after this one. You were lurking while working. Nice to hear that the content is not uh, being missed and people can lurk in the channel. Um, okay, so what are we picking? Uh, quite a few points there. Um, wait, it doesn't show. It doesn't show. So, Angulim is 11. Was there even a way for the quiz one way? So Savage Bear, Axel, and Little Half Row. This is a double assimilate proc. And we see that the Taurus uh, might do some job, but he gets hit waved immediately. <coughs> okay. Uh, that's not I simply want you to not, it. not really nice for your uh, potential uh, thoughts. A moment, I must record. Get this down. Uh, Calvit is of course uh, being, or of course potentially being kept here because a fury merchant exists. Uh, don't really want to to lose your cards on the spot but you also want to draw them so that's a powerful tool for holder here and not playing for my uh, many points uh, on its own you are potentially also giving your opponent uh, something of value as there is no setup yeah i don't know what sif принес у него Головорезы в паре колод. У него везде ответ на Мадука есть в каждой колоде. А вот остальные подборочки карт... Ничего э, неинтересные. Тут Шупецкий. Эй, Йотруски. Not much work can be done with this Brock War Warrior. Um, a bit premature to play a Fury Merchant. Uh, so we do get a verification instead. Uh, who is that? Tower Attorney Joust is uh, not putting up many points uh, so what do you do lerio is playing emissaries and duchess's informant so that uh, yeah bratens is of course activated but artorius also can be sacrificed into this round you do want to preserve at least some of the assimilate for later rounds though
Is it like a random wheel give parts at one point? Do we even risk it? Uh, instead, we do see a pass, uh, unclicked mask of Uruboros, but you might have considered keeping it to just discard your Fury Merchant if your opponent was temp tempoing ahead. So, no Calvit round one. Uh, Fury Merchant uh, achieved something. Uh, but that uh, reflects in the draws. Imperial Diplo, Battle Prep, and Buford. Also, Buford from Graveyard was deleted, so your full series is not active now. Mm, yeah, so the best card confirmed. There is some firepower in those four cards though, but the rest of the tactics are not so much. It's a very good tactic to to shuffle them to the bottom of the deck with the Uncle Weed. So can hold your uh, do it all here. He missed the um, A bunch of golds, of course there is a Neuromancy. But you're missing stuff. <clears throat> also did he nah he didn't play. He just drew the Neuromancy in the Mulligan face, so that's uh Very corpses. Nay, feed our foes to the crabs potentially like useful. There are no remedies to try and like squirrel away the Oniromancy. Also the deck holder is playing. Obsidian mirror shouldn't give any reasonable value. You can get rain and bleed though. Okay, so not completely wasted. But uh, this honestly should be coming from Solf. And bear as well. Oh, there we go. The potential target number. Too good. So yeah, for now, Lerio can just throw like Imperial Deep Law. If he wants to get a hand, he can take Artorius and play a spy. Kind of want to get uh, Artorius out of the card roll removal range, of course. But yeah, I didn't expect to start with the, with the deep law instead of throwing golds. Nice, Adrenaline four is uh, not met. So we get the bleeding instead. The primal savagery is a two nothing buffing rates in this deck. Mm, nice collection of cards if you look at them separately. I don't know. Not at the moment in the driving seat of uh, of this game you can also set up primal savagery with this brock war on and create water later when you get more targets uh, uh, probably not a good idea to mulligan an airmance into your deck Lerio was also playing slowly. Okay, so now Artorius is coming, and that should get the Lerio ahead. Not sure about row stacking. Artorius would have been in another, another row, but uh, yeah, the rain will find value if necessary you don't want to click now to play around cool but there is a like you want to click it uh, because that uh, loses a target and uh, doesn't allow the bond to be triggered so, 
The position doesn't really matter. Then yeah, off, off it goes. But you can also copy the Brockware Warrior, not uh, much worse in terms of value. A solid value from Obsidian Mirror at the moment. Uh, Lero would want to play the young Calvich at some point, even if you are losing your best goal. Uh, your opponent is not getting much out of it, but uh, you are at least throwing uh, the rest of your goals. Okay, so Artorius is relatively safe from the clash here. Morkwark uh, is potentially coming from the Tornyromancy though. So something's safe, something's not. Is that Rosal Alice? Okay, we do get an Aramans and we do get the Morkwork here. Getting separation, we also get uh, Marsha Truffle clicked. So Holder is uh, getting ahead here by 18 points. The card trolder might be traveling into the next round. Do you play Primal Savagery if uh, Assimilation is not triggered here? So cool on Duchess's informant is uh, two, 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 two four seven nine. That's uh, putting Artorius to four. So eleven. A uh, little bit of roping. Lerio's been like extra ropey. Although that might be tournament platform. Being behind, so we got Brockwar into the damage on one. So it was a rope. This was a one power. Informant uh, and the elevator is not getting ahead. So there is a target for primal savagery. Let's see if Holder tries to to go deeper into the round. Uh, might be his. Uh, uh, can you even name it? The last out. Not really. There is a Calvit. There is the Obsidian Mirror, uh, Wilgefort's potentially replacing an 8 with a 6. So I wonder if uh, we are taking the Savagery. Seems like we are not. You might be scared of things like Stefan Skellen. Uh... Onward, sons of <laughs> now you are getting okay. You are getting an Eromancy and hopefully you find your Shoop solve. Your opponent is playing Terra Nova at least into the Axel as Stefan. Probably doesn't have Obsidian Mirror anymore though. Okay, Shoop acquired. Uh, Axel as well. The Angulim you don't really want to play. 
Although this spine is uh, hard to set up now. So maybe. You have a uh, few uninteractive plays. You have a uh, shoot that would be potentially spicy on an open board. But the hand quality differs here. So our Todd had Axel and a couple of beasts. Uh, looks like an Axel turn and also the card is nice to double prop simulate. You can activate the bloodthirst. Are you risking your solve points by any means? Like, if something is rolled from Lydia... Ah, uh, wait. Rolled. I guess there is always cards rolled to save your ass. But Lydia on uh, range plays uh, Bronze Special from opponent's graveyard, so... Golden Frost is there. Then you'll have to do some some work to to cash uh, cash in the solve points. I hear tomorrow's succulent comedy. Where is Tony Shelmar when you need one? It's a lot. Uh, and Tony Shelmer uh, is a card that I potentially could have expected from Lerio. Not necessary to play, but could have replaced uh, Lydia. Not sure if he was expecting. Okay, we have Shoop rolling. Uh, spawn a random row effect. Ah, random unit. Transform rightmost and also move a unit. Uh, move a unit might uh, that's a uh, shoot no 13 damage for ya nah nah I was just uh, looking what is there so 13 do damage would have been okay considering you only have shoot didn't roll, but also doesn't play Rune Mage in the deck, so that was uh, like last resort to get the maximum value from the card. So don't don't repeat at home. And we see Lydia back row for the Proth, uh, the Blood Thursday night for now. Oh, Lero. Indeed. Uh, okay, so the blood thirst is slowly being set up. You also don't have units to kill a six. Uh, easy. Uh, wait, no, it's fine. If you have at least one blood thirst, you can clash. The Morkwork is also beautiful to clash with something taller since it comes back. But will there be an 11 point unit? Will it be stolen by enslaved before? Those are the questions. There is also Axel with the spine, so coup de gras exists. And if necessary, you can play Axel uh, back row if you are over swarming. But you go for the maximum amount of points. Okay, that's not the maximum amount of points. A free engine is a free engine. No bloodthirst for you, says Lerio. Um, is it random row? Random could have been front. But you cannot relay. So the full city was guaranteed unless the mulligan goes on top of the deck. 
Not the scariest and uh, most insane value. So yeah, there is no six on the board at the moment. Uh, to clash, there is a leader at 13. But yeah, clicking this uh, makes it a primal savagery target. So there's no reason when you can just use it as a card to roll the magnet to click uh, for the free rain points. They're not actually free. The revolution is inevitable, merely a matter of time. <laughs> Yoink. Um, well, that's interesting. This is also a uh, cool. On Shoop Spawn, so two, four, and then Erin Jesus take the wheel. Although. Patricide of Fury basically just cloaks it, so Lerio doesn't really get to play. This spawned unit, if uh, Holder wants to deny it. No. Okay, instead we're cashing in. Did I miss something? I could just cloak. deny those extra points but maybe the extra points six versus four okay so Lerio wins this joust uh you need what 47 you have leader and yeah this way no nah, you could always save a uh, leader point back also we cash in it's close but a couple of points a miss and those points were hidden somewhere in that shoop. Definitely could have uh, played shoop for more than four here in search of that first uh, point for the tiebreaker war to end. Don't make me laugh. And now we see Holder playing in Slave and Koshi was the last Lerio deck. So we, we do witness it here. Uh, this is a uh, Henry Holder has been playing in tournaments and World World Cup tournaments. Uh, every time I think he brought Henry to play, always fun to see the card. Sometimes backfiring for the owner. Заказ песенок говорит бот. Ну да, конечно, заказ песенок. Заказ песенок из Гвинта. Как-то так. Окей, okay, so... Are you afraid of uh, riders being not playable against Calvit? That's a 7, so... That would take uh, a moment to set up. I wonder if you just uh, thin them out uh, before get into business uh, we've seen yeah all their hunting the maddox which means that a double amnesty is here which means that you can steal one of the coches and yeah we also like, larvas and whatnot and we also see that uh, Lerio decides to go for the rider staying in immediately also brings uh, Rune Mage uh, out of the deck. Uh, the Taurus in is Holdier's uh, deck, though not in hand. Uh, Afan, you can give your opponent, they can uh, mulligan it, so it works as three, three points for them later on. In Koshi deck, though, you might be over swarming already, so. That might backfire. 
and for himself Holder gets Unseen Elder and if I'm not mistaken he plays this deck as uh, a devotion list so yeah Amnest is also a link to that so that's a uh, potent en engine coming there it's also protected by Henry from random riptide damage And there we go. Bleed damage. And to BM, of course. без BM? So, rune mage you don't want to develop on the board. You can roll for for a lock from there but you are not guaranteed to get a lock you you can get damage from there as well but that's uh giving uh a simulate deck a target for arto terranova okay we still do that neil's got runestone and we see no we see some damage, but that's not good enough. Instead, we go and uh, try to bring something out of the deck. Wait. Henry is creating uh, bottom of the deck. Novice mistake. <laughs> Another BM. Uh, da -da -da. So, creates were not there. The highwaymen are still on the board, so they were not sent back. So I guess that was just uh, Eren Jesus, which means that something like Arantir or Mount Art are on the top. So talented Misty будет играть. Uh, зависит, кто выиграет в этой катке, потому что. Сегодня после этого матча играет э, Россия против э, победителя. Правильно, не проигравших, а против победителя. Да. Так что зависит. Why do they always get elder? This is the way. This is the way. Also nice to have Henry at 8 to block uh, the the kill. Так что если ты веришь, что Халдер сейчас uh, затринолит Лерио, то тогда Мисти потенциально будет играть. Okay, so... A better Obsidian Mirror. Since it gives you an engine, you also had Calvit. So check the deck. Click and choose the appropriate card. This, this is growing. This is funny. Uh, so the fortune provision card was uh, already in hand. So that was between two 13 power cards. But Lerio now is just yeah, spamming some points, uh, thinning the deck. My duty? To stick my nose Can't really complain. Okay, some extra points from Obsidian Mirror coming there. Since the, the second Vanguard is uh, going. Through the bonded uh, condition triggering. Amnesty is a plane for going for 8 points there, but don't really bring additional value if I'm not mistaken. What is the reason not to play gank? 
Well, I suppose priority was to get uh, <laughs> to get rid of unseen elder at first. Okay, so there we go. Fifteen point. Uh, Taurus, uh, so it doesn't show me. I, I'm pretty sure it was showing before. We get uh, Necker Warrior, Orchard Man Trap, and also Mount Art uh, marked. And considering you just created uh, a few extra units, uh, that's a nice pickup. Also, three point game with an engine uh, putting in some work. The Imperial Marine was uh, blocked from being flanked, unit. Oh, now it's flanked. It was flanking before. So, when in doubt, slam it out or something. Uh, cool down as well. And no cooldown taken for extra points and destroy on unseen. Finally, it's out. Lerio does get a 12 point passive throughout three rounds, though. When your opponent plays a leader, you go, aha, maybe I should do that too. Um, not really sure how Holder catches up without uh, that. A uh, couple of cards playing for 8, uh, Battle Prep playing for 6. So 5, uh, Artorius at best case is probably not 20 plus points as well. So it's either passing time. Plus you, you need uh, to keep in mind extra 4. Так что по сетским попахивает. Делать тут больше нечего, если лидера не хочешь отдавать. So now Mount Art or Poshi should be coming from the top deck. It was Mount Art. Mulligan in Afan, so that jumps out, and there goes the Afan. As I mentioned, there is double amnesty though, and now we also not triggering Koshi with the leader immediately. So, <laughs> you were hide, uh, hunting uh, Maddox, but you found uh, Koshi targeting what well, is one of those amnesties. It's kind of funky. Uh, Regis also drains going through armor. Not the most amazing card, but you had other stuff to mulligan and it does play for solid uh, 10 points. Suffering ennobles, friend. You'll be a count once I'm done with you. I, I would assume Koshi had better times uh, facing Nilfgaard, the regular Nilfgaard, than facing the threat of amnesty, facing uh, Regis, Stefan control here. The rune mage was never marked, uh, so it's uh, between bronzes and... Uh, And the Morn Tart for Holder's uh, Artoteranova. Nine units in the graveyard. Not the worst. Pick up if you need just uh, a reach play. And yeah, we do get uh, that opening from Holder. The Lerio is not stopping here as well, since uh, his Koshi will be turned against him. But Yoink should go the Amnesty. It's, uh, it's catching and... 
as something I didn't expect to catch uh, while it was submitted to the tournament. So you might be not uh, not triggering it uh, too many times. You should be feeling all right anyway. So the second crochet, do we click the kitty now? We do. Um, invites a leader from Paul there, but at the same time, at least that leader is not tra traveling into round three. Then is there a toll punish? There is Wilgefort's coming in, so if you don't have Lasse, your more dark points don't matter much. Uh, there is also no more wood. Okay, so a leader is gone. <laughs> Half of the Koshi is gone as well. One Koshi, one larva. The man traps are... Not amazing in the next round. Like, you have larvas, but... Uh, you'd have to eat them to double proc. Uh, how does it go against regular assimilate without Henry, without double amnesty? Should be alright. But anyway, Red wins the game, Lerio, Lerio had enough. So, the reverse sweep. Uh, so we go into game number four, hold there, on blue, you'd expect, oh yeah, Guerrilla Tactics probably, Shiro Milva, Point Slam with Armorer's Workshops, but then you start looking into the deck, and while it's true, there is also Cutthroat, Angulim, in the deck, so a couple of uh, funky additions. Angulim against Koshe once again, as it was against Nilfgaard, is not so hot. The no Milva Milva deck. Yes, indeed. So, how is the hand? For both of them, no larva for Lerio. It might have been like that to skirmisher plus uh, stuff, but nonetheless, do potentially made for an all right opening. Holder like can just throw a couple of uh, cheap golds. As we see Maxi go in, Angulim is somewhere in the middle of the park, uh, Masha Truffle is at the bottom, Shiro is coming, not sure how easy it is to line up Shiro against Koshi, things line up but they are usually coming from Koshi, staggered by one point and uh, Armor makes it uh, unreasonable to try and waste your leader charges on setting it off. Why are people playing my beloved, uh, beloved Angulim like this? They should have good targets for deck, not just uh, snipe troll there. Marsha Truffles have, have been played, Novigrad's uh, Syndicate probably less popular at the moment. I don't know. So we see the mantra used to infuse two units with Thrive, there is a uh, Necker Warrior. At 7 power, one of them will be triggering it. Can also then consume it with a dragon larva. And unlike small larvas, the 6 power drive units should not uh, die <laughs> to, uh, to 3 damage uh, coming from the skirmisher. Purification once again in Holger's hand. Uh, he's been 
getting them 10 points usually, although he did use it offensively on Kyrtrolde today as well. So what do we see? Necker Warrior into Drago Warrior uh, and then... I do you goodbye. Can you just stick around? Uh, Man Trap also can trigger those two, so I guess uh, if you want to throw both of them away in a round, you can do that. The Whites, citizens of Russia, граждане России. Citizens на экране видно вот. Of Russia. Я думаю, справишься, допишешь, если надо куда-то. Привет, привет. Okay, so instead we do get uh, an Ekerboro number two played uh, as a four point uh, tempo with the dog jumping out as well. Then we can trigger more units with something like the Indrega Warrior. Uh, should I up the in game music? At times it's de dependent on the board, I suppose. Uh, it, it goes uh, more intense at times, but uh, at low times, especially while casting alone and taking a breather, it gets uh, very peaceful. Team Citizens of Russia. No, da, if it's from Commander, then it's like that. Uh huh. So no point burst plays and I'm not sure if they are possible without uh, committing like seamless uh, Cranmer on Lerio's side unless he drops leader Renfri. Also not coming. <laughs> Other points still 0 0 0 yes uh, you need to win the match not a game inside the match to get that point so Lerio versus Holder will only add one point to the table below me and then we'll have another match if ukraine or poland uh, <clears throat> win two games <coughs> sorry win two games today then they reach the two points uh, if teams uh, gonna go and win one lose one then we are not getting any progression today and then we'll have uh, two more matches tomorrow. That might uh, yeah, finally give us uh, at least one team progressing. <clears throat> but yeah, hopefully. Tomorrow the tiebreakers uh, will conclude. I didn't play it's it seems pretty simple but if today ends at one 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 between three teams then tomorrow one of them wins and progresses and the two of them are having a one one score will decide so yeah it should conclude tomorrow but metal should be in chat to to clarify it maybe i'm missing something out But today, day, day three might have been a backup if players cannot play. Our path over the earth by stars in the night sky is guided. So the armor is being stacked here on Maxi. If you need to sacrifice Den uh, Denver, uh, Dennis Cranmer. You can play him without Seamless and then just play Seamless uh, for value in the later round. Uh, also, Koshe is not really known for running 
too many damage cards. Do we see leader with rent free replacement or do we see mind trap? The answer is we do see mind trap first. So those are out. So Koshe, Shiro, Northern Wind, Heat Wave shouldn't be sticking to the board and not too many larvas should be there, maybe. Maybe Lerio doesn't see the additional value and we didn't even commit the, those man traps is better than trying to preserve the bronzes that will reach uh, mediocre value later on. So Mahakam pass in round one means that <laughs> there is no artifact on board in round three. After Masha Truffle landed a couple of turns ago as well. And we do see Masha Truffle clicked as well. No illusions here for Holder by the looks of it. Just tries to survive. Finds uh, Giant Slayer again. It tried to do a decent job against Lerios Pirates and it comes from Mahakam Pass again. Now picks uh, an easier opponent in that uh, 3 power mantra. White sands to snows. So do we see the pay payoff from that uh, maxi armor stacking now? Welcome, chosen one. Ah, hello, Adam. Uh, that was unexpected. Why do you play the tiebreak? I already prevented it from happening. This is the alternative branch of the reality when there is a second group. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Adam. How are you? Nice to see ya. So the question is also do you click Mahakam Pass to just guarantee, yeah, we see this uh, happening and Cranmer and that's a lot of points. Um, leader is playing for what, 3, 12, and then you'd have to commit a rent free as well, so Lerio passes instead, but a giant slayer. We'll be telling a story to his kids later on and to anyone who will listen that he was fighting this huge man trap and he was resilient in the end. But in reality it was just a mere three point uh, man trap that he squished. Squashed. Yeah, squashed. What? Squished. Anyway. So he gets his resilience uh, quite nicely. Uh, with spy, we spy that there is no Koshe. There is a risk of breaking wild high, uh, hunt uh, riders. And now, nah. classic Marigans, uh, Karanter and Koshe. And that's uh, usually how it goes, not gonna lie. Yeah, every monster player always finds them and never complains about not finding the combo together. This is round two, so the, the risk is that it gets bled out here. Holder was clicking his artifacts as if... Well, first of all, he was trying to survive round one and second... Uh, as if there is no use for them in round two, especially that Maha Compass, but uh, in reality he definitely didn't want to play Seamless, so... What else can a player do while trying to survive uh, the red coin abuse? My home is wherever the road takes me. So we do see him play here, so... You are definitely afraid of... Uh, the kitty hiding behind immunity. You cannot reach that with Shiro. 
And then I honestly fail to predict how Shiro goes uh, against the Koshes. You can move them to the same row, you can get something from the Shiro because uh, not every unit triggers every larva in existence. They do line up to sixes at some point. Many here. We see Lerio committing first Koshi with the leader, getting a hat. <laughs> no muzzle this time, so you have to deal with Koshi by other means. I doubt that you are going to an Shiro here. Seems a bit premature. And instead we see a pass. So now we can just deal with the second Koshe. You have a lot of points hidden in that seamless. Of course you don't have the payoff uh, of Granmer anymore. Nice sci-fi tournament. <laughs> yeah. Um so Maxi was played. I didn't pay enough attention to remember. Breaking, we do see backup plans being uh, in hand, and uh, the play plan A is to get uh, the armor from Seamless. No risks taken with the thinners, I uh, don't really want to play this for 4, especially potentially expecting the, the chariot, we also see chariot being buffed. Riptide is a card that Lerio missed, but uh, we have this uh, futuristic technology of uh, Observer, Older doesn't. Also the key team is good and is immune but seamless into double backup plan does uh, nasty things. Um, well you cannot really avoid it. So the first play was because you'd need to thin and try avoid it. It bricked. And now let's see the roll and move the last split unit if you play an elf, damage it by one. No two damage card. And nothing the leader can do about it as well. So Lerio could have promoted back. You are forced to click the kit, uh, are you? I guess you are because there is a second backup plan and that definitely gives a bomber. Yeah, we see the kitty, we do see the heat wave here. Shiro is. Uh... If only Shiro would have triggered the Koshi to six, that would have been nice, but Shiro is a small boy. Coming out as a three, it's not achieving. Uh... The killing two animals or. Oh. Two creatures with one burn. And you cannot really hold it as well. So for now we see that the choice is to just delete the kitty. All the slavers at uh, at two power. It's a nice fuel. So instead we see that Rune Mage is being played, uh, Lerio is avoiding lining them all at 3 in a turn. Mm. 
En een keer water. Um, so no more hack and pass. What's the best? Okay, here we go, the Shiro. So 7 is nice to create, but it triggers your uh, tribe. But at the same time, we see that it gives uh, more power to Shiro. I have scores to settle. Wait. Is it so that uh, the passive is active from Rent Free? Oh, not passive, the active part of the ability of playing a card. Might have been. Play lowest, uh, 6 damage. Set to 10. And yeah, we do see Lerio potentially going for that. Uh, as you can also find your Riptide and trigger the Larva turn later. Oh, even on this turn. So that uh, should be a heads up play from him. Gets the Riptide. Riptide's <clears throat> duel might be not the nicest, but. Uh, Stay true to our way, we must always. We see that uh, Holder so enough, and this means that we have ourselves the first match concluding. Um. Team Poland in the lead by the efforts of Lerio. And I also have to update the table. Eh. Where did I move it? There we go. So Poland with the point over Ukraine and citizens of Russia.